what's up family we are in san jose today and we're pretty close to the water here i really like this purchase just helped a client buy this just closed last week gonna do a little walk through this is a house in san jose del cabo it will be an airbnb and the owner will use it when they're coming down from new york and um this was a really good price you know this was the it was listed at 315 that's what i'll say and um basically this, this is going to work out perfect for them so let's go take a look i like this this is outside of an hoa community you've got a lot of uh, like apartments this is brand new right here so outside of an hoa community not many people are looking at it let's take a look at this place all right so let's take a look at this place you can see you got a lot of outdoor area so you could fit sure two vehicles right here and then you have this this yard it's pretty secure too but a lot, a lot of shade here we go into the this is a three bed in san jose now i really like this i don't have the door open right now but we're into october right now okay you got a nice little pool right here and you could have these doors open right here and get a nice little cross draft right especially this time of year that's coming up it's starting to get nice at night i am looking forward to that all right nothing spectacular you know just uh your regular kitchen and yeah, let's take a look outside here real quick we've got a pool and i do believe the owner is going to be doing some upgrades but uh this pool would work fine for airbnb that's how you get up to the roof right there. And I like this play. I think these are, when you look at a market like San Jose del Cabo, you have some really high end stuff. And this is a good opportunity to get into San Jose. You know, cause I, I would say the average home in San Jose is gonna be well over a million dollars. So, uh, this just gives you another more affordable aspect now look this would be the master okay you've got a lot of natural light you've got a lot of closet space you could even do something with this if you wanted nice bed bath and then what i like is a lot of the natural light comes in here you have this skylight right there when you're in cabo why not get some natural light right so one bedroom Here is your second bedroom. All right. And then second bath. And then this would be your third bedroom. So a nice three bedroom. You can still see the water here and here. That actually over there is the estuary that you cannot build on. So that ocean view should be there forever. Not the most spectacular view, but that's not why this house is good. This house is gonna be a rental machine. I know a lot of people come in that are looking for like a month, two months to rent in San Jose. They want San Jose and there is not many options. So this one will play very well for rental income. I think this owner is long-term, so there's gonna be a lot of appreciation into this. And uh, yeah, San Jose is just a great market. And this is thinking outside the box. So if you're looking for something like this that's outside of an hoa community that you could use you could do the you know you could do airbnb you could do long-term rentals you know this could be your i mean this is a nice nice place this could be the retirement home you know and everybody thinks you got to go super super high end in cabo and that's certainly not a bad thing uh if you are in that market right it's that's why most people are but this is a solid option for the investor type as well so once again and uh the buyer i believe is going to put a nice little uh wall up here and uh i have like a little pool table that was his plan so anyway san jose is beautiful so any questions about buying real estate here in Los Cabos or Baja California, sir, reach out to me. Keep them coming. You guys have a good one. All right. Bye.